I'm in Northumberland, a vast and wild county, where earlier I was exploring the stars in its deep, dark skies. I'm searching for another star now, a woman long forgotten and faded, but who was a shining pioneer of her age. Susan Davidson was a visionary landscape designer, a Victorian wonder woman. Born in 1800, she spent nearly 50 years transforming the grounds here at Allen Banks into an enchanting wilderness garden. Susan loved the wild and the natural, the rivers and trees and wildlife. She wanted to create a space for quiet thinking and to get closer to nature. She kicked against the formality of garden designers like Capability Brown. Not for her, the ordered lawns, neat hedges and flower-filled beds popular at the time. Her design celebrated natural beauty above all. And it certainly is beautiful. To help people appreciate the beauty of her gardens, Susan built in special viewpoints but many of these have become overgrown. That's where Eric Wilson from the National Trust and his volunteers come in. The original planting would have had rhododendron as a backdrop to the pond, which is just down the hill here. And what's happened over the last 110 years, it's just spread because it's been unmanaged right through the woodland. And our key aim is to clear all the rhododendron back and open those viewpoints back to where they originally were. Pass me the loppers then. Come on then. Quite a few to clear, haven't we? <laughs> Certainly have. There we go. Loppers. She really was a, a woman on a mission, wasn't she? The, the story goes that you'd see her with a sketchbook and walking her dogs and creating the ideas as she kind of walked through the woodland. Right, I'm going to swap these for a saw. Yeah, we'll get that big one down there. She was um, pretty hands-on, though, wasn't she? Very hands-on, and it's sort of unusual for the time for a Victorian lady to be out here in a dress, in her garments, and, and getting stuck in, and, uh, and we've just got so much to, to thank her for, really. The cut rhododendron isn't wasted. It's turned into charcoal using a special kiln here on site. So we've got some wood in the uh, charcoal kiln and we've got the fire going. It's been going for about three hours now. The next stage for you is to help us feed the fire and that's going to produce the gases to make the charcoal. So we've got to actually sell this in the shops and hopefully make some money for the project and this will help us clear more rhododendron. How long do you think it's going to take to clear all these rhododendrons? We think, very optimistically, I think 10 years. Ten years. Ten years, yeah. It's got out of hand, doesn't it? Yeah, it's going to be uh, quite a big job. The restoration of Allen Banks is ongoing. Views cleared and pathways opened. Susan Davidson's inspirational vision maintained. Back in the 1970s, this vision was to have a marked effect on one man. His name was Lawrence Hewer. He was the National Trust Ranger at the time, but suddenly felt the urge to write poems. By the banks of Allen Water, flowing gently to the Tyne, you will know the joys of living and forget about the time. Just rest a while upon the seat beside the Lady Bridge, or climb the steps to the old Scots pine which grow upon the ridge. Those words were read by Lawrence's son, Colin. Colin, your dad got his inspiration from this place. What are your memories of him here? I first came with him in my school holidays. Mm -hmm. In those days, everything had to be carried to site where dad was working. Right. So I would assist him with that, of course. I would also be responsible for carrying the, the bait box, the lunch box, egg sandwiches and packs of crisps. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And you just got to roam around and call this your playground, did you? Yes, exactly, oh, yeah, lucky yeah. Thing. Yeah, plenty of trees to climb. Banks of the Allen there. And do you have any favourite poems of his? I do, yes. There's one really stands out. Our precious gift. The gift I need not to tell you is yours and also mine. Let's thank the Lord for giving us 
the precious gift of time. It's a very sentiment. Sensible man, your dad, then. Yes. <laughs> and it must be fabulous reading his, his words back at you. Yes, yeah, brilliant, brilliant, yeah. This is one of many, and uh, this really stands out. It's one of my favourites. Alan Banks remains an inspirational place. The legacy of a Victorian lady who saw beauty in wilderness. And if you're planning on taking in some of this wild autumnal beauty this week, you'll need the Countryfile weather forecast.